There is a student paradox in online learning that you need to be aware of. And the following warning is something you need to continually come back to. You will never please them all. While you will have many students who skip links or information, work through the resources in any order, and email, call, or text you with questions that reveal they haven't opened up the course, you will also have some students who meticulously read every word and go through every resource in a linear sequence. Your word selection and order will play into their anxiety and will lead to many, many questions. Even the use of a phrase like module one activity instead of module one assignment may cause some students to question what you're asking them to do. These students like familiarity and they'll be expecting to see the word assignment. And if you use the term activity, they may need verification the first time they go through one of your modules. Remember, you can't please them all. Your students will always experience cognitive dissonance. So you need to decide where you will use this learning angst as part of the learning process. Since I most often use a cognitive social constructivist learning philosophy, use an outcomes-based education approach that uses authentic learning opportunities rather than the typical competency-based assignments, I will use terms like activity, authentic learning opportunity, instead of assignment. I do this and I run the risk of causing some cognitive dissonance or angst in my learner because I'm hoping to help my learner make the meaningful connection between the learning activity or the learning opportunity and their own growth and development rather than simply expect them to check off a box on an assignment checklist. This is why one of the first things that we ask you to do in the design process is get very clear if you are using outcomes-based or competency-based education. Your selection of outcomes-based or competency-based education will drive everything from your terminology to your activities and your assessment and the level of cognitive dissonance that you will ask your learner to experience. Most students are familiar with the behaviors control of competency-based education and the prescriptive step-by-step -step approach of this information transfer model. So if you're looking to move into higher order analysis, synthesis, and creation that are part of outcomes-based education, then you'll also have to help your students to move away from what they're comfortable with and into the authentic learning opportunities and activities of this constructivist approach. If you're going to do this, you must inform your learner. I generally let my learners know in our first meeting or in an introduction or overview video that the learning environment I have created is one where they can feel safe to be who they are, to experiment and explore and to make mistakes because this is part of the learning process. But I also warn them that I will be challenging them and that deeper learning will cause cognitive dissonance, which will more than likely make them somewhat uncomfortable. Yes, deeper learning can be uncomfortable, but I also assure my learners that they will get used to these feelings and to recognize that this is just part of the learning, growth, and development process.